Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to share with you a new website. Well, it's not so new. It's actually a website that I've been using for several years now. But honestly, I was just using the free version. It's called designbundles.net. They have awesome like SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, you name it, they probably have it. But I was doing the freebie section or that kind of stuff. I now am using a membership. But I just got it today and I've been playing with this all day and had to jump on really quick and share it with you guys. It is awesome. But what I want to show you today is the AI what you can do with the AI. So if you're on the website, now just so you know, this is a mem this one is with a membership. So to do the AI, you do have to have a membership. Let's go over to Illustrate AI and let me show you guys how it works. So first thing is just to click on Illustrate AI. Next, we click Start Creating. And also what I love about it is it this is so easy to use so easy. I have seen other AIs and honestly they're difficult to use. I'm not really sure what to keywords to place in there and then I see other people place keywords. I don't even know what those keywords mean. So this one is just very cut and dry, super simple, right up my alley. I want to show you some stuff that we can do. So what you do in the prompt is all you do is describe what you want to see and what I've noticed helps me is to just use as many adjectives as you can to describe what it is that you want. Try to be as detailed as you can. And let's go ahead and just get started. So let's type in festive puppy entangled in Christmas lights sitting next to the Christmas tree with tons of unopened presents. Before we hit generate, we'll just scroll down here and you can pick the art style. So there's many different art styles. Since it defaulted to photographic, because that's what I was on last, we're going to do that one first. Then you can also say you want only two pictures, one, two, three, or four. You can also do square, landscape, or portrait. So let's go ahead and change this to four. I'm going to leave it at square. And all we do is hit create. So cute. Look at these. So sweet. So let's say you want to see this one, you want to see it bigger. You just click on view larger. And if you want to publish it and upscale, all you do is click on publishing. And then this will start to download in the top right hand corner. See how it pops up and it says a download button will appear automatically and it could take a few minutes. So it's that simple. So let me show you just with the same stuff that we have, just the same prompt. Let's switch it up and let's click on 3D model and see what we get. Oh, so cute. Look at this. This one's cute. Let's make this one bigger. Isn't that so cute, you guys? So now let's switch it up and we are going to do analog film and create. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this one. Okay, now let's click on anime. Oh, so cute. This reminds me of like a Disney movie. Look at how so cute. Okay, then let's switch this to cinematic. What I love about the AI here is it's so easy. So easy. There's no trying to get used to anything. It's just super simple. Look at how cute this is. Love it. Then let's do comic book. Isn't that cute? Okay, now let's switch it to digital art. 
And there's so many different art styles. Aww. Look at this one. Okay, and then we're going to go to fantasy art. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. Okay, then let's click on isometric. Look at this, so cute. Look at this. They're both so cute. Then let's click on line art. So cute. So these would be more like if you wanted to like maybe color them in. And let's do low poly. Wow. Look at this. That's adorable. It looks like paper mache, doesn't it? Something you'd probably make in art class. Modeling compound. Aww. So cool. This is something like, I mean, modeling, obviously. It's something like Play-Doh, you know? Cute. And let's try Neon Punk. See how easy it is? And you can also, I haven't used the negative prompt, but all you would do is just place in stuff you don't want it to pull up. Aw, look at this. So adorable. I just want every single one of these puppies. Origami. Cute. And again, if you want to keep it, you just click Publish and Upscale, and then it starts to download. So let's go ahead and change it to, we did photographic already, so let's change it to pixel art because we started with photographic. So see up here in the right-hand corner, it's just showing you that it is downloading. That's pretty cool. And we have two left. Let's do tile texture. Aw, so cute. I seriously want one of these puppies. So adorable. And let's do enhance and create. This is our last one. Aw, so adorable. I really shouldn't be looking at puppies. So, so, so sweet. Our puppy just passed away two months ago. She had cancer, and so I probably should not be looking at the puppies right now because I want every single one of them. Isn't she so sweet? Look. So anyway, I just wanted to hop on and show you guys what I've been doing all day, playing around with this Illustrate AI by Design Bum Bundles. And if you're interested, I have a link in my description. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorials. And I showed you something you guys didn't know. And it was just fun to play with. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.